Ready to uncover Asia's hidden beach gems? Each one is a unique treasure rich in stories and charm. We're here to guide you through 10 most underrated beaches on Asia, revealing the magic that makes each beach special. Let's embark on a journey to discover these secret sanctuaries together. At number 10. Sok San Beach, Koh Rong, Cambodia. Sok San is a secluded stretch of beach on Koh Rong, accessible only by a long boat ride or a hike through the island's interior. The beach is several kilometers long, offering plenty of space for solitude. The clear waters, vibrant coral reefs, and bioluminescent plankton at night make Sok San an unforgettable destination. At number 9. Marissa, Sri Lanka. Marissa is a crescent of golden sand that offers an ideal balance between relaxation and adventure. The nightlife is low-key but enchanting, with beachside cafes and bars offering fresh seafood and tropical cocktails. The waters around Marissa are among the best spots in the world for blue whale sightings, especially between December and April. At number 8. Pantai Mera, Pink Beach, Komodo Island, Indonesia. The pink beach owes its color to microscopic organisms called foraminifera, which produce a red pigment on the coral reefs. This beach isn't just a place for sunbathing, it's a gateway to exploring the Komodo National Park, home to the famous Komodo dragons, and offers some of the best snorkeling spots in Indonesia, teeming with marine life. At number 7. Nijima, Japan. Nijima stands out for its unique geological features, including its sparkling white glass sand beach, made from quartz. This island offers a blend of Japanese culture and tropical island life. The outdoor onsen, hot spring facing the ocean is a unique experience, allowing visitors to soak in mineral-rich waters while listening to the waves. At number 6. Marari Beach, Kerala, India. Marari embodies the tranquil soul of Kerala's coast, with its rhythmic waves and emerald green backwaters nearby. The beach is a gateway to exploring the rich culture of Kerala, from Kathakali performances to Ayurvedic treatments. The local cuisine, infused with coconut and spices, is a culinary journey not to be missed. At number 5. Talaudyong Beach, Palawan, Philippines. Talaudyong is an escape into the wild beauty of Palawan, known for its towering limestone cliffs and biodiverse coral reefs. The journey to Talaudyong itself is an adventure, involving drives through rural landscapes and perhaps a boat ride, but the destination is unparalleled in its natural beauty. At number 4. Sihanoukville, Cambodia. Despite its rapid development, Sihanoukville hides pockets of paradise like Otres Beach. This beach is a tranquil haven compared to the city's more developed areas, offering a slower pace of life. The gentle waves and breezy palm trees create a serene backdrop for relaxation and reflection. At number 3. Kokud, Thailand. Kokud, in the eastern part of Thailand, is an island where nature's beauty remains undisturbed. Waterfalls, ancient rainforests, and traditional wooden stilt houses add to the island's charm. The beaches here, such as Ao Tapao and Ao Frau, are known for their crystal clear water and are ideal for snorkeling, kayaking, and simply soaking in the tranquility. At number 2. Quy Nan, Vietnam. Quy Nan is a scenic city that escapes the radar of most tourists, making it a perfect retreat for those seeking solitude and authentic Vietnamese culture. The beaches here are surrounded by rolling hills and rocky outcrops, creating picturesque landscapes. Bai Zep, a small fishing village nearby, is particularly worth visiting for its golden sands and clear waters, offering a glimpse into the tranquil life of the local communities. At number 1. Ningapali Beach, Myanmar. Imagine a coastline where the only footsteps in the sand are likely your own. Ningapali Beach stretches over several kilometers of coastline, fringed with palm trees and fishing villages. The simplicity of life here is its true charm with local fishermen bringing in their catch at dawn, a scene that captivates all who witness it. Resorts and local eateries are tucked away behind the tree line, offering fresh seafood and traditional Myanmar hospitality. And there you have it. The 10 most underrated beaches on Asia. Each of these beaches offers more than just a beautiful landscape. They provide a window into the diverse cultures and natural wonders of Asia. Whether you're lounging on the powdery sands of Ningapali, snorkeling in the clear waters of Kokud, or exploring the unique ecosystems of Komodo Island, these underrated beaches promise experiences that resonate with the soul of the traveler, seeking beauty beyond the beaten path. 
Russia's beaches range from wild and rugged, to quaint and craggy, to stylish and glitzy. Enhance your visit with these 15 Russian beaches you may want to visit this summer. 1. Lvoberezhny Beach This sandy beach is surrounded by dense forest and park areas, making it popular among Muscovites. It features soft sand, a gentle entrance to the water, and well-maintained benches and sports fields. The beach is busiest in the morning, especially on weekends and public holidays. Amenities include showers, toilets, changing cabins, and a local cafe. 2. Rapino Beach Located in St. Petersburg, Rapino Beach is known for its clean coastlines, soft sand, and calm waters. It's a great spot for swimming and sunbathing, with several restaurants and cafes nearby. The beach also features showers, cabanas, and a volleyball court. 3. Malibu Beach Near Moscow, Malibu Beach is set amidst dense forests and includes a hotel shaped like a ship, Polynesian bungalows, and a pier with lights and palm trees. It's perfect for those seeking a quiet vacation close to nature. 4. Troperiovo Beach this is a quaint beach that is settled in the large ground of Troparyovsky Forest Park. It is among the beautiful Russian beaches that are widely eminent for offering a great swimming experience and scenic view. You can hire catamarans, bicycles, roller skates, and boats to enjoy the next level of adventurous fun. 5. Olympic Beach In Sochi, Olympic Beach is a modern pebble beach stretching from the Olympic Park to the Sioux River. Known for its breathtaking views and great infrastructure, it has cozy cafes and restaurants along the shore. 6. Golden Beach This beach in St. Petersburg boasts a large stretch of white sand and offers stunning ocean views and sunsets. Activities include kite flying, swimming, and boating. 7. Barracuda Beach Located in Sochi, Barracuda Beach is popular for its recreational activities suitable for all ages. It features a mix of sand and pebbles and offers amenities like tattoo shops and massage centers. 8. Laskovi Beach Famous for its shallow waters and clean sand, Laskovi Beach near St. Petersburg is ideal for family holidays. It's known for great amenities and kite surfing opportunities. 9. Riviera Beach A black stone beach in Sochi with sand mixed with fine pebbles, Riviera Beach is perfect for both children and adults. It offers a range of recreational activities, including banana boat rides and parachute flights. 10. Shamora Beach Near Vladivostok, Shamora Beach is appreciated for its clean, sandy shores and the unique landscape of Ashuri Bay. It's ideal for snorkeling, diving, and enjoying water rides. 11. Kungasni Cape Beach Mentioned as one of the most beloved beaches, especially near Vladivostok, known for attracting both guests and locals. 12. Podrezovo Beach One of the famous beaches in Moscow, Russia, is that of Podrezovo Beach. Its soft white sands and clear water act as a visual treat for locals who come here on weekends and during holidays. While there are many restaurants that serve delicious seafood, one can also find luxury as well as budget accommodations near the beach for your stay. It's surely among the best Russian beaches that you must not miss. 13. Beach Promenade Located in Yantarni, Beach Promenade is one of the popular white sand beaches in Russia, which feels straight out of a dream. From the nature parks to outdoor activities, Promenade offers everything that the tourists look forward to which makes it the best pick to make your holiday memorable. Also, one can also enjoy the ropeway ride, which is at the end of the promenade. 14. Cape Filan Beach 
A charming landscape meets every traveler coming to Cape Filent pointed rocks of peculiar shape that emerge from the sea abyss. Azure Bay's absolutely clean water, miniature islands and stone chaoses. Excellent beaches that formed in coastal gorges. Cape Fialent occupies a special place among Crimean beauties. Its severe rocks that pile up over endless sea surface stretch for several kilometers from Sevastopol to Balaclava. It is one of the most charming and inimitable corners on the Crimean Peninsula that captures with beauty of wild nature and never-ending romance. Situated far from south coastal resorts noise and fuss, it is the best place for calm balance recreation and admiration of splendid Crimean panoramas. 15. Sesteres Beach Sesteresk Beach is a popular holiday destination on the coast of the Gulf of Finland in the vicinity of St. Petersburg. It is located on the shore of the resort town of Sesteresk, famous for its many sanatoriums. And among all other city beaches, it is considered to be one of the most visited. Due to the stable small waves, this beach is one of the best places in the vicinity of St. Petersburg for beginners to master kite surfing. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Russia's diverse and stunning beaches. Remember, whether you're looking for a family-friendly spot like Laskovy Beach, a cultural getaway at Golden Beach, or the adventure and excitement of Barracuda Beach, Russia's coasts have it all. Make sure to check out Riviera Beach for its mix of leisure and fun, and don't miss the serene escape of Kungasni Cape Beach. For more details on each of these spectacular destinations, and to plan your perfect beach holiday in Russia, Are you ready to ignite your wanderlust? In today's journey, we're unveiling the ultimate travel bucket list for 2024. A year that promises the rebirth of travel with destinations so breathtaking. So here are the top 10 destinations to visit in 2024. At number 10, Bhutan. Bhutan. The kingdom where happiness is more than a concept, it's a policy. In 2024, Bhutan continues to enchant with its majestic fortresses, ancient monasteries, and landscapes that stretch from subtropical plains to steep mountains and valleys. Bhutan's approach to tourism, focused on sustainability and cultural preservation, offers a model for the world. Experience the vibrancy of the Paro Tseshu Festival, hike to the iconic Tiger's Nest Monastery, and immerse yourself in the philosophy of gross national happiness. At number 9, the Azores. The Azores emerge from the Atlantic as a bastion of natural beauty and sustainability. These nine islands offer a paradise for eco-conscious travelers in 2024, with geothermal pools, whale watching, and trails leading through lush landscapes and volcanic craters. So Miguel, the largest island, is home to the enchanting Terra Nostra Garden and the steaming fumaroles of Furnas. The Azores' commitment to environmental preservation ensures a travel experience that's as responsible as it is breathtaking. At number 8, Petra. Petra, the rose-red city half as old as time, invites explorers to step back into history. Beyond the CQ and the Treasury, Petra's archaeological park hides vast tombs, ancient theatres, and mysterious ruins waiting to be discovered. In 2024, Jordan's efforts to preserve this UNESCO site allow for sustainable exploration. Extend your journey to float in the Dead Sea, venture into the Martian landscapes of Wadi Rum, 
and savor traditional Bedouin hospitality under the stars. At number 7, Iceland. Iceland, where nature's forces create a spectacular theatre. In 2024, experience the magic of the northern lights, bathe in geothermal spas like the Blue Lagoon, and explore the dramatic landscapes of the Golden Circle. Iceland's commitment to green energy and sustainable tourism makes it a pioneer in eco-travel. Adventure seekers can dive between continents at Silfra or hike glaciers in Vatnajökull National Park, encountering landscapes that feel more like another planet than our own. At number 6, Rwanda. Rwanda redefines safari with its forward-thinking conservation and community-led tourism. Trek through the misty mountains of Volcanoes National Park in 2024 to encounter endangered mountain gorillas in a responsible and intimate setting. Rwanda's transformation into a luxury safari destination means you can explore the rich biodiversity of Akagera National Park and the canopy walks in Nyungwe Forest with unparalleled service and comfort. Rwanda's vibrant capital, Kigali, is a testament to the country's resilience and future-focused vision. At number 5, New Zealand. Midway through our list, New Zealand captivates with its untouched wilderness and Maori culture. 2024 is the year to embrace the Great Walks, spanning the Milford Track to the Tongariro Alpine Crossing, showcasing diverse ecosystems from rainforests to alpine passes. For movie buffs, a visit to the Hobbiton movie set is a must. New Zealand's commitment to sustainability means you'll be part of eco-friendly adventures, from whale watching in Kaikoura to exploring the glowworm caves of Waitomo. For our number four, Santorini. Santorini, our fourth stop, is where the Aegean Sea sparkles beneath sun-drenched cliffs. In 2024, Santorini remains an emblem of romance, with its iconic blue-domed churches and whitewashed buildings cascading down to the sea. Explore ancient Thera. Swim in unique volcanic beaches with black, red, and white sands, and sail into the sunset within the caldera. Santorini's wine tours reveal the unique flavors of its volcanic terroir, making it a gourmet paradise. At number three, Marrakesh. Marrakesh a city that weaves a tapestry of colors, aromas, and sounds. In 2024, Marrakesh invites travelers to lose themselves in the labyrinth of the Medina, a UNESCO World Heritage Site brimming with bustling souks, hidden palaces, and architectural marvels. Venture to the Jardin Majorelle, where Yves Saint Laurent found inspiration among the vibrant flora and Berber Museum. As night falls, the Gemma Elfna Square comes alive with storytellers, musicians and snake charmers, offering an unforgettable cultural immersion. At number two, Patagonia. Next, we journey to the ends of the earth. Patagonia, Argentina, a land where nature's grandeur is on full display, with the Perotto Moreno Glacier's mighty ice walls and the Fitzroy Range's jagged peaks. 2024 is the year to trek, the Dailu Trek in Torres del Paine, or kayak across the crystal clear waters of Lake Argentino, witnessing glaciers calving into the icy waters below. Patagonia's remote beauty offers a profound silence and solitude that's increasingly rare in our world. For our number one, Kyoto. 
Finally, we're transported to Kyoto, where tradition dances with modernity. 2024 sees Kyoto as a sanctuary of tranquility amidst the cherry blossom season. Explore the serene Kinkakuji, a golden pavilion that reflects elegantly on a surrounding pond, and wander through the Fushimi Inari Shrine's thousands of vermilion tori gates. Kyoto's culinary scene is a feast for the senses, offering matcha experiences and kaiseki dining that you can't find anywhere else. As we wrap up our journey through the top 10 destinations to visit in 2024, we're reminded that our world is brimming with wonders waiting to be explored. These destinations offer not just beauty and adventure, but also the opportunity to connect with different cultures, histories and visions for a sustainable future. For a less hassle and more enjoyable travel experience in the Philippines, focusing on preparation and adaptability can significantly enhance your journey. Here are the top 10 tips for less hassle travel in the Philippines. Let's do this. At number 10, keep cash on hand. While digital payments are becoming more common, cash is still king. While ATMs are widely available in cities, smaller islands or rural areas may have limited access. Inform your bank of your travel plans to avoid any security blocks on your cards. Learning the art of bargaining is useful in local markets, but always approach it with respect and understanding of the local economy. At number 9. Respect the environment. The Philippines is at the forefront of many environmental conservation efforts, especially in marine biodiversity. Participating in eco-friendly tours, avoiding single-use plastics, and respecting marine life while snorkeling or diving are ways to contribute positively. Opt for tours and activities that are certified for their sustainable practices. At number 8. Stay connected with a local SIM card. Having a local SIM card with data ensures you can access maps, translation services, and local information easily. It also makes it convenient to book and confirm travel arrangements on the go. At number 7. Embrace local eating habits. The Philippines' culinary scene is as diverse as its archipelago, with each region offering specialty dishes that tell a story of their cultural influences and available local ingredients. For a truly immersive experience, consider taking a cooking class or visiting a local market to learn about the ingredients that make up Filipino cuisine. Always ensure to eat at busy spots where the turnover of food is high to enjoy the freshest options. At number 6. Learn key phrases and cultural nuances. Immersing yourself in the local culture enriches your travel experience. Attend local events and festivals, and don't hesitate to try traditional Filipino activities such as karaoke or a basketball game in a local barangay. Learning even just a few phrases in Filipino or the local dialect shows respect and can open doors to genuine interactions. Understanding body language and nonverbal cues also plays a significant role in communication. At number 5. Keep copies of important documents. Digital copies of your passport, visa, travel insurance, and any medical prescriptions should be kept accessible in your email or a secure cloud storage. This foresight can be a lifesaver in case of loss or theft. At number 4. Stay healthy. Prepare a travel medical kit. A basic travel medical kit is indispensable. Include remedies for common ailments such as motion sickness, diarrhea, and minor cuts or scrapes. Don't forget prescription medications, and it's wise to have vaccinations recommended for travel in the region up to date. At number 3. Use reliable transportation apps. Apps like Grab for safe and reliable transportation in urban areas can reduce the stress of hailing taxis or navigating public transport. For longer distances, apps and websites for booking buses, ferries and planes such as 12 Go Asia or the official websites of local airlines and ferry services offer convenient planning options. At number 2. Pack smart and light. The tropical climate and the need to move between islands make it essential to pack lightweight and versatile clothing. Opt for quick-dry fabrics and layers. Essentials include reef-safe sunscreen, insect repellent, a waterproof bag for electronics, and a sturdy pair of sandals or shoes suitable for both water activities and hiking. At number 1. Plan and book in advance. 
advanced planning can save you a lot of headaches, especially for accommodations, flights, and ferries, which can get fully booked quickly during peak seasons like summer, March to May, and Christmas holidays. Early bookings often secure better rates and ensure availability, giving you peace of mind. Hi there! Already planning your next vacation trip? We've got you covered! In this video, we'll take you to the 15 cheapest vacation spots in the world this 2024. Now, let's begin! 15. Czech Republic for $40 a day Tourism has driven up prices in Prague, Czech Republic, but it remains one of the most affordable Central European countries, especially outside Prague in places like Seski Krumlov and Telset. Czech cuisine is hearty and filling, ideal for budget meals. While entrance fees to attractions like Prague Castle can be high, enjoying the views from outside is a cost-effective alternative. 14. Guatemala for $38 a day Explore Guatemala for an affordable Central American adventure, featuring stunning Lake Atitlan, lush jungles, volcanoes, and ancient ruins ideal for outdoor enthusiasts. Enjoy the charm of colonial cities like Antigua and unique spots like Habitanango, alongside delicious, budget-friendly meals averaging $3, except in Antigua, where prices are higher. Local transport, like the economical but unpredictable chicken buses, offers an authentic experience, though it requires some caution and adaptability. 13. The Philippines for $37 a day Traveling in the Philippines can be expensive and less convenient compared to other Southeast Asian countries due to higher costs and fewer hostels. However, by planning ahead, traveling during shoulder seasons, and focusing on one to two regions, costs can be managed. On top of that, the country has some of the most gorgeous islands, beautiful dive sites, affordable group island hopping tours, and hidden gems you'd have had to pay so much more to experience in other parts of the world. In that sense, the Philippines is worth every peso you spend. 12. Nicaragua For $35 a day Nicaragua, an affordable and exciting destination in Central America, is rapidly gaining popularity, much like Costa Rica did. Known for its surfing, volcano hiking, and beautiful colonial cities, it's a haven for both adventure and relaxation. With inexpensive food, numerous hostels, and stunning beaches, it's a must-visit before prices rise and tourism peaks. However, be mindful of safety concerns and consult official advisories before traveling. 11. Colombia For $35 a day, Colombia, vibrant yet historically rich, is emerging as an affordable hotspot. History buffs Nature lovers and diving enthusiasts alike will find something to enjoy, from Bogotá's museums to Amazon adventures and world-class diving. Its cost-effectiveness allows for lavish treats, like a night in a luxury villa unmatched elsewhere in the region. 10. Indonesia For $35 a day In Indonesia, travel costs vary greatly with transportation being the key factor. Intercity and inter-island journeys can be pricey. To save money, focus on exploring a few areas deeply for a richer experience, and use local transport for wider exploration. Food, drinks, and activities like scooter rides, hiking, and beach relaxation are affordable, as are hostels, particularly in areas like the Geely Islands. 9. Vietnam For $35 a day Experience Vietnam's affordable street food, like $1 F50 cents pork noodle soup or $1 coffee. Rent a motorbike for easy travel or use grab bike for cheap city rides. Long distance buses and trains are budget friendly and accommodation is surprisingly affordable. 8. Sri Lanka For $35 a day Sri Lanka's travel costs vary, from budget-friendly to expensive, mainly due to the high cost of activities like safaris and UNESCO-cited missions, averaging $40 to $50. However, excluding such costly activities, 
Daily expenses can be around $30, covering affordable food, transport, accommodation, and internet. Notably, in cities, taxis or Ubers can be cheaper than bike rentals, and sharing a driver can reduce costs to as low as $5 per person. The most economical and enjoyable transportation option is the train, ideal for experiencing Sri Lanka. 7. Northern Thailand For $32 a day Traveling in Northern Thailand suits a tight budget, with costs rising significantly towards the south. Opt for the north to save on accommodation and enjoy affordable activities like hiking and day trips. In cities like Chiang Maui and Pai, dorms cost under $7, and choosing street food over western dishes like pasta saves money and offers a more authentic taste. Many activities, including visiting the White Temple, are budget-friendly. 6. Georgia For $30 a day Georgia is an affordable and beautiful hidden gem in Europe, offering visa-free entry for up to a year for many. With hostels, meals from $3, and minibus rides under $1, it's a budget-friendly destination. Attractions like museums cost less than $2, and the friendly locals make hitchhiking viable. It's ideal for lengthy stays, offering numerous hikes, day trips, and monasteries, perfect for those with more time than money. 5. Laos For $30 a day. In Laos, you can manage to stick to a $30 a day budget despite slightly higher accommodation costs compared to Southeast Asia. Affordable activities abound, including a $2.50 visit to a stunning waterfall, $7 for all-day tubing, and a $6 Tiger Bomb massage. Renting a motorbike for less allows exploration of smaller, even cheaper towns. With new hostels catering to backpackers, staying longer on a budget is easier. For those willing to spend more, a luxurious room at $35 offers what would cost $100 in the US. 4. Cambodia For $30 a day In Cambodia, you can live for a month on just $1,000, thanks to inexpensive dorms, affordable food, and alcohol. Effective haggling often saved me from overcharges by tuk-tuk drivers. While there are costs like the $62 three-day Angkor Wat Pass and diving trips, days spent cycling in villages and enjoying tasty meat skewers for a dollar show how far your money can go. 3. Nepal For $30 a day Traveling in Nepal is highly affordable, with local food, lodging, and transportation costing just a few dollars. Although street food is generally safe, its reputation is mixed, but small local cafes offer inexpensive, delicious, home-cooked meals. When booking accommodation online, be cautious as many local homestays have been transformed into boutique hotels by large corporations, disguising them as local guest houses. It's best to book your initial nights online and then find genuine local guest houses upon arrival. 2. Kyrgyzstan for $25 a day Kyrgyzstan is the country of choice for most travelers interested in trying out Central Asia, offering affordable and unique food, cheap minibuses for transport, and the lowest public transportation costs in Central Asia. Accommodations range from hostels in cities to rural homestays under $10, and multi-day hikes like the Tian Shan Mountains typically include all necessary expenses in the tour price. 1. India For $25 a day, India is perhaps the cheapest country to travel to, but if and only if you're willing to haggle and hunt for deals. Keep in mind that cheap rooms that run in the $3 range will be very basic, and it's normal to shower with buckets of heated water. You will be hard-pressed to find cheap gems in the north, but the south with its gorgeous beaches may prove more fruitful when it comes to budget accommodation. All right, adventurers and budget travelers. That wraps up our journey through the 15 cheapest vacation spots in the world for 2024. We hope this guide inspires you to pack your bags and explore these incredible destinations without breaking the bank. 
Remember, adventure doesn't have to be expensive to be memorable. Have you ever dreamed of wandering through a land where ancient traditions and modern wonders blend seamlessly? Join us as we explore the beauty and breathtaking destinations in Japan. So, let's begin. Here are the 10 best places in Japan this 2024. Our first stop is the enchanting bamboo grove in Arashiyama, Kyoto. As you wander through this towering bamboo forest, the sun filters through the dense stalks, creating a serene and otherworldly atmosphere. The sound of the bamboo swaying in the wind is a natural symphony, providing a tranquil escape from the city. Next, we visit Fushimi Inari Taisha, famous for its thousands of vermilion tori gates that trail up the sacred Mount Inari. Each gate, donated by individuals or businesses hoping for prosperity, creates a mesmerizing path that winds through the mountain, leading to stunning views of Kyoto. In Nara, the ancient capital of Japan, Nara Park awaits. Home to hundreds of freely roaming deer, considered messengers of the gods in Shinto religion, this park offers a unique experience. Visitors can feed and interact with the deer against a backdrop of historic temples and shrines. No visit to Japan is complete without witnessing the organized chaos of Shibuya Crossing in Tokyo. Known as the busiest pedestrian crossing in the world, it's a symbol of Japan's bustling urban life. The moment the lights turn green, witness a sea of people from all directions crossing in harmony. For a spiritual retreat, venture to Mount Koya, the center of Shingon Buddhism. Surrounded by eight peaks, the monastic complex invites visitors to stay in temple lodgings, participate in meditation sessions, and savor traditional monk cuisine, all while exploring its ancient temples shrouded in mist. Naoshima the art island in the Sito Inland Sea is a haven for art enthusiasts. With its modern art museums, sculptures and installations blended into the island's landscapes and villages, Naoshima offers a unique cultural experience amidst breathtaking natural beauty. Step back in time at Ginza Onsen a picturesque hot spring town with Taisho-era wooden inns lining a cobblestone street. As evening falls, the area is lit by gas lamps, creating a magical atmosphere perfect for a relaxing soak in the healing waters. Hakone, a short trip from Tokyo, offers a variety of attractions, from hot springs and hiking trails to stunning views of Mount Fuji across Lake Ashinoko. Don't miss the Hakone Open Air Museum, where art and nature merge in harmony. Venture to the Totori Sand Dunes for a desert-like experience unlike any other in Japan. These massive dunes offer activities like camel rides and sandboarding providing a unique adventure set against the backdrop of the Sea of Japan. Our final stop takes us to the tropical paradise of the Okinawa Islands. With their distinct Ryukyu culture, crystal clear waters and vibrant coral reefs, the islands offer a perfect escape for beach lovers and divers looking to explore underwater treasures. From ancient forests and bustling city crossings to tranquil islands and spiritual retreats, 
Japan's beauty is as diverse as it is captivating. Each destination tells a story, inviting travelers to immerse themselves in its rich history, culture, and natural splendor. It Red flags in vacation are common, but what should we look out for? Here are the 2024 travel red flags that you need to avoid. Without further ado, let's start. At number 10, unusually cheap deals. If a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. Extremely low prices can sometimes indicate a scam, especially if not booked through a reputable agency or service. Scammers use enticing deals to lure unsuspecting travelers into paying for services that don't exist or are significantly subpar. At number 9. Overly friendly locals insisting on help. While many locals are genuinely friendly and helpful, be cautious of those who are overly insistent on helping you, especially if they approach you out of the blue. They may lead you to a scam, such as a rigged ATM, a closed or overpriced shop, or they might be pickpockets. At number 8. High pressure sales tactics. Be wary of vendors or service providers who pressure you to make quick decisions, often using guilt or intimidation. This can happen in markets, at tourist attractions, or with timeshare salespeople. They rely on pressure to make you commit to a purchase or agree to a service you don't need or want. At number seven, requests for upfront cash payments. If you're asked to pay for a service or product in full with cash before receiving it, especially if it's a significant amount, this should raise a red flag. Legitimate businesses usually offer secure payment options and do not require large cash transactions up front. At number six, unofficial taxis or transport services. Unlicensed taxis or informal transport services may not only overcharge, but can also pose serious safety risks. They may not have the proper insurance or worse, could lead you into dangerous situations. Always look for official markings, licenses, and use recommended or well-reviewed transport services. At number five, restricted communication in accommodations. If you're staying somewhere that restricts your access to Wi-Fi or communication tools or insists you don't need them, be cautious. Legitimate accommodations understand the importance of staying connected, especially for international travelers. At number four, skimming devices on ATMs. Before using an ATM, inspect it for any signs of tampering, such as loose parts, unusual attachments on the card slot, or a sticky keypad. Skimming devices are used to steal your card information and PIN for fraudulent purposes. At number three, two eager guides offering unsolicited tours. Be cautious of individuals who approach you offering guided tours without any credentials or affiliation with a reputable tour company. They may promise unique experiences, but could lead you to unsafe areas or demand exorbitant fees afterward. At number two, closed or exclusive shops recommended by locals. A common scam involves locals, sometimes in collusion with taxi drivers, insisting that specific shops or restaurants are the best while others are closed or inferior. This can be a setup to overcharge tourists for goods or services. At number one, drinks from strangers or unsealed bottles. Accepting drinks from strangers or consuming beverages from previously opened bottles can be risky. There's a danger of drink spiking with the intent of robbery or assault. Always watch your drink being made or open it yourself. Please, for the love of God, don't share too much personal information. Be mindful of how much personal information you share with strangers, including details about where you're staying, your travel itinerary, or financial matters. Scammers can use this information to target you. That's it, the 10 red flags you need to avoid. By staying vigilant and recognizing these red flags, you can protect yourself from common scams and risks, making your vacation a safer and more enjoyable experience. Some popular destinations are incredibly dangerous due to extreme climate conditions, active volcanoes, treacherous hiking trails, venomous wildlife, and crime. So if you're an adventurous thrill seeker, that doesn't put your life at risk. Here are the top 10 travel destinations you wouldn't want to go to. 10. Oymyakon, Siberia. In Oymyakon, temperatures can drop below minus 88 degrees Fahrenheit, pushing the limits of human survival. Yet, 
With the guidance of locals, adventurous visitors navigate its icy expanse, crossing frozen rivers to experience one of the planet's coldest inhabited places. 9. Devil's Pool, Zambia Visitors to the pool are only allowed to swim during the dry season when the water level is low and a natural rock barrier forms at the pool's edge. This helps keep swimmers from accidentally slipping over the fall's edge. Additionally, visitors are supervised by trained guides who ensure that all safety precautions are taken and that swimmers stay within the designated swimming area. Despite the precautions, the pool is considered a dangerous attraction, and it is important to follow all safety guidelines and instructions. 8. Madidi National Park, Bolivia At first glance, Madidi National Park seems like an idyllic rainforest retreat. However, its flora and fauna are deceptively dangerous, with many capable of causing severe allergic reactions, paralysis, or even death upon contact. 7. Danakil Desert, Ethiopia Famed for its extreme environment, the Danakil Desert offers an alien landscape of sulfuric lakes and toxic air, rendered inhospitable by volcanic activity and scant oxygen levels. 6. Anak Krakatoa, Indonesia This Indonesian island and national park known for its rich history and diving sites, also hosts one of the world's most catastrophic active volcanoes with eruptions and tsunamis that have killed thousands. 5. Lake Natron, Tanzania The alkaline water in Lake Natron has a pH as high as 10.5 and is so caustic it can burn the skin and eyes of animals that aren't adapted to it. The water's alkalinity comes from the sodium carbonate and other minerals that flow into the lake from the surrounding hills. And deposits of sodium carbonate, which was once used in Egyptian mummification, also acts as a fantastic type of preservative for those animals unlucky enough to die in the waters of Lake Natron. The striking red waters of Lake Natron, deadly due to its high alkalinity and cyanobacteria, petrify any animals daring to enter, turning them into stone-like figures. 4. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, Hawaii Hawaii Volcanoes National Park protects some of the most unique geological, biological, and cherished cultural landscapes in the world. Extending from sea level to 13,680 feet, the park encompasses the summits of two of the world's most active volcanoes, Kailua and Mauna Loa, and is a designated International Biosphere Reserve and UNESCO World Heritage Site. This park's allure comes with risks of lava flows, sinkholes, and toxic gas emissions from volcanic activity. 3. Mount Washington, New Hampshire Don't let its size fool you. Mount Washington's severe weather and steep slopes have earned it the title of the world's most dangerous small mountain, with over 150 fatalities. 2. Death Valley National Park, California Aptly named for its extreme heat, which can surpass 130 degrees Fahrenheit and additional dangers from venomous creatures, flash floods, and accidents, making it a perilous visit. 1. Mount Everest, Nepal The ultimate challenge for climbers, Everest's towering height is fraught with dangers like avalanches, hypothermia, and oxygen scarcity, claiming over 300 lives with about 200 bodies visible along its trails. And there you have it, folks. Our tour of the top 10 most dangerous vacation spots around the globe from the bone-chilling cold of Oymyakon, Siberia, to the perilous peaks of Mount Everest. Each of these destinations offers a unique challenge to the most daring of travelers, whether it's battling extreme temperatures, navigating toxic environments, or facing the forces of nature head on. Are you dreaming of escaping the city? Soaking up some sun and exploring a new culture? 
That's right! 10 visa-free country you might not know! So, grab your passports and get ready to pack your bags, because we're about to embark on a virtual journey around the world. Let's start at number 10, Mongolia. Ever dreamed of exploring the vast steppes of Central Asia? Mongolia offers 30 days visa-free entry, allowing you to experience the nomadic culture, breathtaking landscapes, and rich history. Ride a camel through the Gobi Desert, visit the ancient city of Karakoram, or immerse yourself in the vibrant Nadam Festival. Next for our number nine, Morocco. Get ready to be transported to a land of vibrant colors, spices, and rich history. Morocco welcomes Filipinos for 90 days visa-free, allowing you to explore the bustling medinas of Marrakech. Marvel at the Hassan II Mosque in Casablanca, or trek through the majestic Atlas Mountains. For our number eight, Costa Rica. Embrace the Pura Vida spirit in Costa Rica, a paradise for nature lovers. With 30 days visa-free access, you can hike through lush rainforests, relax on pristine beaches, and witness incredible biodiversity. Coming up with number seven, Kazakhstan. This vast Central Asian nation offers a unique blend of cultures and landscapes. You have 30 days visa-free to explore the futuristic city of Nur Sultan, hike in the Tian Shan Mountains, or visit the historical city of Turkestan. For our number six, Dominica. This small Caribbean island is a hidden gem for nature enthusiasts. With 21 days visa-free entry, you can explore its lush rainforests, volcanic hot springs, and breathtaking waterfalls. Don't miss the opportunity to go whale watching or dive into the crystal clear waters. Next is number five, Albania. Discover the hidden beauty of the Balkans in Albania. You have 90 days visa-free to explore the charming towns, stunning coastline, and rich history. Hike through the Albanian Alps, visit the ancient city of Berat, or relax on the beautiful beaches along the Adriatic Sea. At number four, Serbia. Embark on a historical and cultural adventure in Serbia. With 30 days visa-free access, you can explore the vibrant capital Belgrade. Visit the historical city of Novi Sad or delve into the rich medieval history of the country. Going for our number three, Bolivia. Experience the diverse landscapes and rich indigenous culture of Bolivia. You have 90 days visa-free to explore the breathtaking Salar de Uyuni salt flats, hike the majestic Andes Mountains, or discover the historical city of La Paz the world's highest capital. And for our number two, Rwanda. This East African nation is known for its stunning scenery and commitment to conservation. With 30 days visa-free entry, you can trek through the Virunga Mountains and see the endangered mountain gorillas. Explore the vibrant capital Kigeli or go on a safari in Akagera National Park. Last is number one, Palau. Dive into paradise in Palau, a haven for nature lovers and scuba divers. You have 30 days visa-free to explore the stunning rock islands, pristine coral reefs, and unique marine life. This hidden gem in the Pacific is sure to leave you breathless. Remember, even though these destinations are visa-free, it's always important to check the entry requirements of each country before your trip. 
This may include things like having a valid passport, having enough funds for your stay, and getting any necessary vaccinations. In 2023, the Philippines impressively rebounded, attracting 5.45 million global visitors, showcasing its vibrant culture, scenic beauty, and warm hospitality. This resurgence marks a promising return to its pre-pandemic stature as a beloved travel destination. Now let's dive into the 10 behaviors to avoid ensuring respectful interactions with local Filipinos, kicking off this insightful journey without delay. At number 10, don't assume English isn't spoken. The Philippines is a highly linguistically diverse country with more than 170 languages spoken. English is one of its official languages, widely used in education, government, and media. Assuming that Filipinos can't speak or understand English is not only incorrect, but can also come off as condescending. Many Filipinos are bilingual or even trilingual, proficient in their local dialect, Filipino, the national language based on Tagalog, and English. At number 9. Avoid disrespecting elders or authority figures. Filipino culture places a strong emphasis on respect for elders and authority figures. This respect is manifested in language, gestures, and behaviors. For instance, when addressing someone older or in a position of authority, it's customary to use po and opo as signs of respect. Direct confrontation or openly contradicting an elder or authority figure, especially in public, is considered rude and disrespectful. At number 8. Don't ignore local customs and etiquette. Filipinos are known for their hospitality, often going out of their way to make guests feel welcome. Ignoring or dismissing local customs and etiquette can be seen as ungrateful or rude. For example, it's customary to bring a small gift when invited to someone's home. Also, showing respect to religious beliefs and practices is crucial, as the Philippines is predominantly Catholic, with other religions practiced throughout the country. At number 7. Avoid discussing sensitive topics prematurely. While Filipinos are generally open and friendly, diving into sensitive topics such as politics, religion, or personal financial matters without a strong rapport can make people uncomfortable. It's best to allow such conversations to arise naturally and to follow the lead of your Filipino counterparts in terms of tone and content. At number 6. Don't underestimate the importance of Pakikisama. Pakikisama, roughly translated as camaraderie or togetherness, is a core value in Filipino culture. It's about building harmonious relationships and prioritizing group harmony over individual desires. Ignoring the collective nature of Filipino social interactions, such as refusing invitations to social gatherings or not participating in group activities, can be perceived as aloof or unfriendly. At number 5. Be mindful of your body language. Nonverbal communication is just as important as verbal communication. Simple gestures, such as maintaining eye contact or smiling, can go a long way in establishing trust and rapport. However, be cautious with gestures that may be interpreted differently in Filipino culture, such as pointing with your finger, which is considered rude. Instead, use your whole hand or a nod of the head. At number four, don't treat service staff or lower income individuals disrespectfully. Treating everyone with respect, regardless of their social or economic status, is crucial. Filipinos value dignity and respect highly, and looking down on or mistreating service staff such as waiters, drivers, or domestic helpers is frowned upon. At number three, don't forget the importance of utang na luob, debt of gratitude. This is a core value in Filipino culture that emphasizes a deep sense of gratitude for someone who has done you a favor. It's more than just saying thank you, it's an acknowledgement of a debt of gratitude that entails moral obligations. Failing to recognize or show appreciation for kindness received can be seen as ingratitude. It's crucial to acknowledge help or favors and show your appreciation as this builds strong personal and professional relationships. At number two, avoid being too direct or blunt. While honesty is valued in any culture, the manner of expressing it varies. Filipinos often communicate in a high-context manner, where much is conveyed through nonverbal cues, tone of voice, and indirect language to avoid conflict or discomfort. Being too direct or blunt, especially in a negative context, can be perceived as rude or insensitive. It's advisable to adopt a more nuanced way of communicating, especially when offering criticism or negative feedback, to ensure that it is received in a constructive manner. At number one, 
Don't overlook the significance of hiya. Shame. Hiya is a concept that refers to a sense of social propriety and conforming to societal expectations to avoid embarrassment or shame, both for oneself and for others. It influences behavior, communication, and social interactions. For example, a Filipino might avoid saying no directly to avoid offending someone, opting instead for indirect refusals or non-committal responses. Understanding this concept can help you read between the lines and respond sensitively to nuanced communication cues. Well, with that, it's time to pack your things up and end our expedition through how not to approach locals in the Philippines. Should you have the opportunity, which celebrity would you choose to go on a vacation with? In today's video, we're excited to present to you the 20 favorite vacation spots of celebrities. 20. Los Cabos, Mexico. Who's heading to Cabo this year? Might reveal a lengthy list of celebrities. Historically, stars such as Robert De Niro, Jennifer Aniston, Sean Penn, Gwyneth Paltrow, Haley and Justin Bieber, George Clooney, Tom Holland, and the Jonas Brothers have all visited. 19. Amanjiri, Utah. Nestled in a stunning red rock landscape, this hotel is hailed by Architectural Digest as one of the most beautiful nowhere in the world, and has won the admiration of celebrities like Kim Kardashian, Emily Ratajkowski, Drew Barrymore, Kendall Jenner, and the Biebers. 18. Capri, Italy. Capri has historically been a retreat for celebrities, famously serving as the backdrop for Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton's widely publicized romance. Icons like Audrey Hepburn and Grace Kelly have graced it with their presence, and more recently, stars such as Leonardo DiCaprio, Lindsay Lohan, and Mariah Carey have become enamored with its charm. 17. Costa Rica Costa Rica, boasting attractions from Papagayo Gulf to Playa Hermosa, Areno Volcano, and Oza Peninsula, comes highly recommended. Notably, celebrities such as Tom Brady, Michael Jordan, Reese Witherspoon, Zac Efron, Brad Pitt, and Megan Fox have either visited or owned homes there. 16. Anguilla, British West Indies Anguilla is a favorite among celebrities such as Leonardo DiCaprio, Liam Neeson, Sandra Bullock, Paul McCartney, and Paris Hilton, thanks to its tranquility and lack of crowded tourist spots and resorts, including an absence of jet skis, similar to other destinations on this list. 15. Island House Lord Howe Island Architectural Digest describes Lord Howe Island as Australia's Galapagos, tapping its visitors at 400. Notable visitors include celebrities like Chris Hemsworth, Ryan Reynolds, and Blake Lively. The Island House, a recent addition, is known for its luxury. 14. Amalfi Coast, Italy Recently, Sofia Vergara, Joe Manganiello, Neil Patrick Harris, Christy Turlington, Lana Condor, and Emily Ratajkowski visited the Amalfi Coast and shared their experiences on Instagram, instantly making it a must-visit destination for many. 13. St. Moritz, Switzerland This ski destination is favored by royalty and ordinary celebrities alike, such as John Travolta, Naomi Campbell, Lawrence Fishburne, and Robert De Niro. While the town boasts exclusivity, its surrounding areas, including bars and a casino, are unexpectedly welcoming and accessible. 12. Sifnos, Greece During a 2023 European getaway, Dua Lipa and her boyfriend made headlines by visiting this celebrity-loved island, famous for its exquisite local cuisine and favored by stars like Tom Hanks, Rita Wilson, Margot Robbie, Scarlett Johansson, and entrepreneur Jeff Bezos. 11. The Maldives This enchanting and picturesque spot is a favorite among celebrities, including Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn, Madonna, Sophie Turner, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Brad Falchuk, who chose it for their honeymoon, along with Victoria and David Beckham and their family. 10. Saint Tropez, France In 2023, Brooklyn Beckham and Nicola Peltz Beckham turned heads by visiting Saint Tropez, a hotspot previously frequented by Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire. This location has long been a favorite among celebrities, including Princess Diana and Dodie Fade in 1997. 
9. Bora Bora, French Polynesia Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman were notably seen in Bora Bora, joining a notable lineup of celebrities such as Justin Bieber, Jimmy Kimmel, Jennifer Aniston, Justin Thoreau, Courtney Cox, and Jason Bateman, who favor the stunning island. 8. Aspen, Colorado Cher brought her family to Aspen during her children's younger years, yet before and after her visit, celebrities like the Kardashians, Leonardo DiCaprio, Elton John, Maria Carey, and Katy Perry have also chosen the ski town as a popular vacation spot. 7. Cabo San Lucas Leonardo DiCaprio and Bar Raffaele famously visited here during their relationship, but it's also a popular spot for celebrities like Drew Barrymore, George Clooney, Cameron Diaz, Jessica Alba, Oprah, Olivia Culpo, among others. House Beautiful highlights the Waldorf Astoria Los Cabos Pedregal as a major attraction. 6. Lake Como, Italy George and Amal Clooney, who bought property in 2002, are often seen at Lake Como, along with other celebrities like Madonna, Richard Branson, Sylvester Stallone, and Gianni Versus, who have also owned homes here. 5. St. Barth's, French West Indies Often dubbed the French Ibiza, this festive island has welcomed numerous celebrities such as the Kardashians, Dua Lipa, Beyonce, Miranda Kerr, and Leonardo DiCaprio, among others. By day, it offers a serene atmosphere with ample shopping opportunities. 4. Sirigan Palace Kempinski, Istanbul The Sirigan Palace Kempinski, boasting 310 rooms including 11 palace suites, features a renowned wall of fame highlighting distinguished guests, such as Bill Clinton, Oprah Winfrey, Madonna, Sophia Loren, Robert De Niro, Kofi Annan, and U2. 3. London, England Clearly, London is a vast city and a popular tourist spot. Yet for celebrities, it often translates to staying in luxurious hotels such as the Dorchester and Mayfair, frequented by stars like Elizabeth Taylor, Chris Evans, the Kardashians, and members of the royal family, as noted by House Beautiful. 2. Paris, France Paris is always a great choice, and it became even more thrilling for fans when Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds enjoyed a romantic getaway there in 2023, dining at La Poule au Pot. The city, a favorite for celebrities like Jennifer Lawrence, Rihanna, and Beyonce, continues to attract stars, whether during Fashion Week or at other times. 1. Mykonos, Greece Mykonos, known as Party Central, is a favorite beach destination among celebrities. With a guest list that boasts names like Paris Hilton, Beyonce and Jay-Z, Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, Kim Kardashian, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Tesla boss Elon Musk. All right, folks, that wraps up our star-studded tour of the 20 favorite vacation spots of your beloved celebrities. Whether you're dreaming of sunbathing next to a Listers or just seeking your next holiday inspiration, we hope this journey has sparked some wanderlust in you. Have you ever wondered what it's like to live the K-drama life? Well, wonder no more. South Korea awaits, a land where modern marvels blend seamlessly with centuries-old traditions. So buckle up, we'll unveil 10 beautiful places in South Korea this 2024. Let's begin. Start your journey in Seoul, the heart of South Korea. Witness the grandeur of Gyeongbokgung Palace, the largest of the five royal palaces. Witness the changing of the guard ceremony, a vibrant display of cultural heritage. And admire the intricate details of the palace architecture, reflecting centuries of Korean history. Step back in time and wander through the charming alleys of Bucheon Hanuk Village. This traditional neighborhood is lined with beautifully preserved hanoks, wooden houses with unique architectural features. Immerse yourself in the tranquil atmosphere, explore local shops selling traditional crafts, and rent a hanbok to experience Korean culture firsthand. Ascend the iconic N Seoul Tower for breathtaking 360-degree views of Seoul. Enjoy the romantic atmosphere. 
perfect for creating lasting memories, and add your own love lock to the fence, a popular tradition symbolizing eternal love. Escape to the tropical paradise of Jeju Island, nicknamed the Hawaii of Korea. Hike up the majestic Hallison National Park, the highest mountain in South Korea, offering stunning volcanic landscapes. Relax on the unique black sand beaches, explore the mysterious lava tubes formed by volcanic activity, and learn about the island's distinctive wildlife. Experience the vibrant energy of the coastal city, Busan. Immerse yourself in the lively sights and sounds of the Jigalchi Market, a haven for seafood lovers, where you can witness the fresh catch being brought in and explore the diverse culinary offerings. Relax on the iconic Hyundai Beach, a popular spot for swimming, sunbathing, and water sports. Capture stunning city views from the Busan Tower, a landmark offering panoramic vistas. Embark on a romantic escape to Nami Island, a heart-shaped island known for its picturesque scenery. Rent a bicycle and explore the tree-lined avenues, following in the footsteps of the Winter Sonata K-drama characters. Enjoy a peaceful picnic under the shade of weeping willows and capture the island's natural beauty. Immerse yourself in the tranquility of the Bosyong Green Tea Plantation, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Participate in a traditional tea ceremony, a calming experience showcasing Korean cultural practices. Learn about the tea making process from harvesting the leaves to brewing the perfect cup. Wander through the lush green tea fields and breathe in the fresh air, capturing the picturesque scenery. Put on your hiking boots and head out on an adventure in the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Siorexan National Park. Hike through diverse terrains, from challenging mountain trails to scenic valleys, and witness breathtaking views of the majestic peaks. Be mesmerized by cascading waterfalls, varied wildlife and plants, and the vibrant colors of the autumn foliage, making for a truly unforgettable experience. Immerse yourself in the vibrant streets of Gamshin Culture Village, a former shantytown transformed into a whimsical art village. Explore the narrow alleys lined with colorful houses adorned with unique street art murals. Browse through local shops selling handmade crafts, interact with friendly artists, and capture the creative spirit of this unique neighborhood. Journey through time in Gyeongju, the ancient capital of the Silla Kingdom, and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Explore the magnificent Bulguksa Temple, a masterpiece of Buddhist architecture, and marvel at the serene Sogaram Grotto, housing a giant Buddha statue. Delve deeper into history at the Gyeongju National Museum where a vast collection of artifacts awaits, offering a glimpse. These are just a few of the unforgettable experiences waiting for you in South Korea. From vibrant cities to serene natural landscapes and rich cultural heritage, South Korea offers something for every traveler. So start planning your adventure and get ready to create lasting memories in the land of morning calm.